Hi right, everyone, it's Dave here on my Fishy Repeat Travel Channel. We're about an hour out of Napier, the start of our summer Gisborne road trip. It's going to be pretty cool. Got the truck fully packed out, first time using my new bed base that I've made. Yeah, we've got pretty exciting stuff coming up. And in part one of our Gisborne car camping roadie summer series, we spent our first night in Napier where we visit the beautiful and delicious Craggy Range Winery for lunch. We then start driving up the coast, stopping in at Gisborne to trial the new car camping setup for the first time. And following on up into Tologa Bay, where we make the most of the beautiful weather when it's not raining. We set off from Hamilton around lunchtime on Christmas Day and cruised down the middle of the island stopping at Waipanga Falls Lookout along the way. And then continuing on into Napier. We checked into our beautiful Swiss Belle Boutique Hotel. This is real nice. But because it was still Christmas Day, all the shops were closed. So we just relaxed and cooked up some mince and amion and added some of my homemade wild goat jerky to it as well. We polished all that off with a couple of glasses of wine. Well, good morning, guys. It's a boxing day. Just having a little bit of a walk around uh, Napier Ports. While we kick around for a couple of hours before going to Craigie Range Vineyard. I'm always a bit of a sucker for the ocean. Yeah. There's a it's an inflatable just parked out there with a livey on a balloon. Because this is the entrance to this harbour, there must be a lot of keys running by. Keen as though in this weather, it's pretty rough. Not exactly a uh, drone fishing weather today. Maybe this afternoon. Baby, you me feel you whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here high and dry. Oh, 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 We arrived to the winery about half an hour before our lunch booking, which gave us ample time to take in the beautiful mountain and vineyard backdrop. Oh no. I'd say like, yeah, goldfish. Oh, whoa, is that a... Those might be native ducks, hun. Oh. See, they're like way different, eh? Oh my gosh. Hmm? They look way different, eh? Yeah, they're definitely not your standard duck. Not a duck, it'll be that other thing. Waterfowl, but not a duck. Just 
Jenny had booked the best table in the restaurant as we got to watch the chefs work in their magic. After finishing off our outstanding lunch, we sat back with some wine, cheese and crackers and watched as the clouds rolled by. We stopped in at Gisborne at a local pub to catch up with my old flatmates over some good pizza and a few crafties. Before heading off to Tatapodi Bay campsite to try sleeping in my new car camping bed setup I'd made. We've already done a few car roadies now, including a big 11 day road trip in my previous car, a Volvo station wagon. Hey. What a ripper! So I knew what I was wanting when I built this bed base. This is a two piece bed base that is light and very easy and quick to set up. We keep all the big messy fishing and diving gear in the pod on the roof and most of our dry food and cooking gear goes under the bed base in bins. Then we cover all the windows before sleeping and getting this ready only takes about 10 minutes to set up. I have a tutorial video coming up showing you more details of this awesome setup. Well good morning guys. How are we going today? We're staying at a Tatapodi campsite. I'm just out of Gisborne. This wicked backdrop. And it was the first night uh, staying in the Prado with the new with the new camping bed setup that I made. Yeah, so today we're just gonna carry on heading up the east coast and, and just do a bit of, bit of tippy touring. Yeah, let's see what happens. After a very comfortable first night's sleep in the new Prado camping setup, it was time to cook a hot breakfast of home smoked glazed ham, eggs, and dog and gun coffee. Okay. 
Then we thought we'd walk around Gisborne a little more, checking out a few shops and places to eat before heading to our next campsite, Tologa Bay. to rain so fishing's probably off the table we can still cook a feed though Bloody smell the bait, the bastard. Look, watch, there he is. You bet. Doesn't matter. Oh, and the muscles. Oh, he's feet. Get out of it. Oh, look, he's trying to catch. You stealing my. Yeah, so it's blowing still hard out. And raining, as you can hear from the water. But, um,. And Jenny and I are just beautifully uh, warm and cozy in the Prado. And it's um, why we never camp in a tent because I hate getting wet and cold. And when you're doing day um, day trips in between different spots, you don't want to be packing up wet tent every time. So yeah, no regrets sleeping in the car, comfy as and dry and warm and windproof every day. And that's all for part one of our Gisborne Roadie series. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications if you're feeling super generous. Also, feel free to leave a comment of what your favourite part of this video was. Stay tuned for part two where we continue exploring the Gisborne Peninsula and seeing what Tangaroa has to offer.